Um, let's start off on a negative note. Um, <laughs> earlier, earlier this week, we got a look at your uh, AMC's Preacher TV show. That's this right. is based on the wonderful Vertigo comic by Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon. Uh, ran in the 90s. It's a very 90s comic series. It's very, also very gruesome. It's very much one of those kind of like, in the same way that Sin City was like, this isn't a comic for kids. This is kind of all over the place. Except like, whereas like Sin City's kind of like old timey, like gory noir, uh, Preacher is one of the most just wonderfully gruesome, offensive, dirty, filthy, puerile, vul vulgar things I've ever read. And I don't know how that's going to work on AMC. And that looks like the kid that uh, gets, he gets uh, scared with the raptor claw at the beginning of Jurassic yeah, Park. Yeah, I'm like, so I haven't read Preacher in a while. I'm not sure if they're actually showing scenes accurately. This is written by Seth Rogen, and Seth Rogen's a pretty cool dude, in my opinion. Yeah. But I'm very wary of this, in that it just, if you showed this to me and you didn't tell me it was Preacher, I'd be like, it's some AMC show. This looks, I mean, it looks like, um, you know, Justified or, or something out of Sons of Anarchy or something. Yeah. It doesn't look like Preacher to me. Uh, Preacher, if you've never read it, is about a guy who has the word of God as a superpower. So anything he says, people have to do. Uh, for instance, if he tells someone to go F himself, that happens. Wow, really? That is a thing that happens in the comic. It's a, it's a very, very vulgar comic. It's a little bit like if Tarantino had done uh, Kevin Smith's Dogma. Sure. Uh, and the thing is, people, people point out to me that, like, I mean, AMC's gotten pretty blue with, like, uh, Breaking Bad and The Walking Dead. Uh, but I feel like, like, Breaking Bad, first of all, I'm, I'm, I think that's not really a good indication of AMC adapting something. Because that's yeah. an original TV show. It's meant to be a TV show. Right. Whereas The Walking Dead, they took a lot of liberties with that, too, and they changed it around. Plus, The Walking Dead is, it's gory. It's very violent. But if there's anything that we know about America, it's that violence is fine, but anything else... It's never, it's never too sexual. Or right. at least if there was stuff in the comics that got into the sort of that territory, yeah. uh, it never really creeped its way into The Walking Dead. And yeah. you're right in that The Walking Dead has taken the source material of the comic book and changed it a lot, which kind of gives them leeway to say, hey, we can take another sort of like gritty, realistic, M-rated mm -hmm. comic book and go in a different direction with it. But what you're saying is there's some stuff from Preacher that defines Preacher that you just can't put on... So on, Look, on basic cable. This isn't really a spoiler. This is kind of the premise of the entire comic, but the whole thing is about a guy who's going to kill God. Like, he's on a revenge mission against God. And that's not really something that I feel like American movie classics is going to do the most justice to. Right. Not to mention there's a ton of weird butt stuff in there. There's a part where a guy gets a bike parked in his butt crack. Like... I don't know how you I don't know how you tackle that on like primetime basic cable TV. Even if you have we're tackling those, it here pretty is, well. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, welcome the to the in front of the dog. By the yeah, way, the dog is a small is a small baby. If he understands uh, park a, a bike in a butt crack, then I'd really why why doesn't he know stay? Huh? <laughs> why can't you learn the basic things? So what anyway. if this what if this show was on HBO? Like that's the is, thing is, is, HBO, is that like grass is greener over there? HBO was looking at it for a while in the same way that at one point they were looking at Watchmen, uh, but they I guess. They nixed it. They didn't want it. So it went to AMC instead. Uh, I mean, Seth Rogen, like I said, cool guy. He's a, he's a comic nerd. He's, he's got good taste in, in puerile, gross, violent things. I mean, uh, what is it? Uh, this all is the, his, this is the end, and, and Pineapple yeah. Express are great examples of that. But, I mean, I have my, I have my reservations about Preacher. That said, big fan. Uh, I actually, hey, let's, let's check this out. I have an image of me. I went to a, a costume party dressed as Jesse Custer at one point. So here's a real, here's a real great photo of me from, uh, from my finer... My finer younger years. Let's take a look. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, Me and She-Hulk were at a comic book party. So did you have to explain to literally everybody that you weren't just a weird priest? Uh, yeah, pretty much. It was a comic book party full of nerdy people, but it still was like, I guess Preacher wasn't an AMC TV show at that point. Um, and what's up? What's what's going on with She-Hulk? Did you guys uh, did you guys get, it's it, a, get it together? That's a long story. That's a long story. Really? Anyway, let's move on. Did let's change the subject. On those white pants? What if we change the subject? <laughs> All right, we fine. can do that.